Hey y'all Snoop Dogg here. I just wanted to share with you something I have been thinking about lately. Imagine that we want to compute the numeric value of a K-mer, for example, C-A-G-G-T. But why would we want to do this? Well, sometimes it is appropriate if we want to index the words that appear in a long DNA sequence, such as, for example, your genome. This is very popular in comparative genomics, where it is used to estimate how similar two genomes are. So let's get into it. We have these four symbols representing each nucleotide along with their numeric mapping from zero to three, inclusive. And take the next example where K equals three and we have the following sequence. How can we index all possible words of size K? Then we need to slide a window of size three along the sequence and compute the value of every k -mer. This is what you can see right now. Every three letters are a three mer, which corresponds to an index value. Let's actually calculate now the value of the highlighted k mer to understand it better. But how can we do it such that every possible k mer has a unique value? Luckily, there is a very simple formula we can use. It looks hard, but it is simply multiplying every value by the alphabet size to the power of the current position, which makes it an injective function. Let's plug in the values that we have for our highlighted k mer and remove that annoying k value. That is better, ain't it? Now let's bring back those mappings and plug in the values again. That means our hash or index value for CAG at position 6 is 18. Looks good, doesn't it? However, notice that this way we are calculating the value for the same nucleotide a couple of times. In fact, each 3 mer shares two nucleotides with the previous one, or K minus two nucleotides. And this keeps happening, such that for K, every nucleotide, with the exception of the start and ending ones, is part of three other words. Therefore, on average, the contribution of every nucleotide is computed K times, resulting in a complexity of K times N, which is bad. And while K is much smaller than N, we are wasting precious electricity. Can we do better? The answer is yes. We can do it in strictly linear time. How? Let's prove it using our favorite tool, algebraic manipulation. Let's start with the general formula for the k -mer at position R and compare it to the word at position I plus 1. Note that they are very similar. In fact, Let's now factor out a 4, since everything is multiplied by a power of 4. Can you see that the first terms in the parenthesis are almost our previous index value? Let's reorder it as follows. Just flip that term to the other side like it's hot and replace in our previous equation. If we now multiply by the 4 and keep those manipulations coming, then it becomes so much simple. Y'all see? This formula means that our next overlapping index at position I plus one is four times the previous value minus four to the power of K times the nucleotide that preceded the current plus the value of the new incoming nucleotide that was not present yet. That is cool because we only use every nucleotide twice regardless of K, but we can do even better. On average, compute every value only once. Let's get our formula back, and let's look at each part individually. The last term being added is a no-brainer. We have to keep adding it since it is the new incoming nucleotide. Now, replace the multiplication by 4 by simply doing a binary shift of length 2 of the previous value. Now comes the trick. How do we remove the contribution of the nucleotide at position I? Super easy, because the values we are adding are between 0 and 3 inclusive. They will not take more than 2 bits. That means that when we are doing bit shift by 2, our bits are just moving two positions to the most significant side. Therefore, to remove the preceding nucleotide, we just have to cut off the two most significant bits. Then you see it happening when we add the following nucleotides. To do that programmatically, we can just use a bit mask depending on the size of K. But if our K size just happens to fit on the value type, for example, 64 bits can hold 32 nucleotides then overflowing is also enough. To illustrate one case, if we are using k of size 8 at 2 bits per letter, 
we need to cut at 16 bits, which is equal to the bit mask value of 65,535. But anyway, let's get back to it. Realize that now we only check every letter once. Therefore, our complexity now is strictly linear. That is a good improvement from what we had before. And is this used anywhere? Yeah, in many bioinformatics tools. For example, check it out happening in line 75 of the CamerDB tool, among many other places. Find the link to the GitHub repository in the description. Anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching and remember that if you stop at general math, you're only going to make general math money.